Hey folks, I want to get into a little more of what the agenda is behind this. This is from an interview that Alex Jones, when he was cutting his teeth, getting started, and I'm sure supported by the Stratford Group and the rest of the uh, Ford Foundation that supports the uh, Info Wars. But he interviewed uh, a hero. Uh, this guy, Aaron Russo, produced the movies uh, Trading Places and The Rose. He also was running for governor of Nevada and made friends with uh, Nicholas Rockefeller and got some in-fight information. So let's, let's hear what he had to say about what the future was going to hold for us. And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, Anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what everything, you sell. Everything is in there, you know? And so they, they want a one-world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people. And you become a slave. You become a serf to these people. That's their goal. That's their intentions. Eric, can you be specific about when... And I've been wondering for years uh, for how they were going to accomplish this, and now we know. Federal Reserve looking and developing a digital currency in the U.S. confirms market insider. All right, and I want to bring this to your attention, too. Uh, it's not just going to be the adults with the opportunity for organization and persistent biometrically linked digital identity, the program will also explore and assess several leading infant biometric technologies to offer a persistent digital identity from birth, unlocking a potential global good. Uh, and this goes into ID 2020 Alliance, unveils the digital ID program with the opportunity for immunization to serve as a platform for digital identity. The program harnesses existing birth registrations to provide newborns with a portable and persistently biometrically linked digital ID. Uh, and this is from Biohack Info. Bill Gates will use microchip implants to flight, fight the coronavirus. And he shows this. He posted on Reddit of all places. I'm working from home. What's this with this little antenna up there? Uh, and then there's dog looks scared, <laughs> scared as can be to be associated with this guy. So Gates uh, will launch the human implantable capsules that have digital certificates, which can show who has been tested for the virus and who has been vaccinated against it. Uh, he, he went on Reddit, asked me, he says, quote, eventually we'll have some digital certificates to show who has recovered or who, or who have been tested recently or when we have a vaccine who has received it. He's also said they're going to need a billion or more vaccines. He also said that it may be up to 18 months before a vaccine will be ready. The digital certificates Gates was referring to are human implantable, quote, quantum dot tattoos that researchers at MIT and